Hello, my name is Wena Sha, and the title of my chapel talk is To Make Things Perfectly Queer. So, I'm gay. This phrase is met with a variety of responses ranging from you must be into fashion then, to you must be, so who wears their pants in a relationship? Why are these the popular responses though? In the modern world, much of human knowledge stems from online presence, and more often than not, mainstream media generalizes the LGBT community into two tight boxes of stalking lesbians or flaming homosexuals. In turn, these conjectures have led general society to develop a misinformed idea of what the LGBT community actually represents and leaves many LGBT youth wondering where their representation is. In the end, the invisibility of LGBT characters in media causes harm to both general society and LGBT identifying people. The invention of television in the 20th century brought an influx of online entertainment. However, even today, online entertainment continues to ignore a great population. And Where We Are report, GLAD reported that for 2018-2019 um, broadcasting year, only 6.4 of regular characters on TV shows are part of the LGBT community. To put things into perspective, about 10% of millennials alone identify under the LGBT umbrella. Embracing the existence of LGBT identifying people in media further stigmatized the idea that LGBT people do not exist or matter. In short, the invisibility of media translates into real life invisibility. Within the minimal focus on LGBT, there's also the issue of stereotyping. Though not inherently dangerous, overused stereotypes, which sometimes are the only thing people know about the LGBT, are um, lead to like, negative judgments of LGBT identifying people simply because of an extra label they choose to identify with. For example, in the common era, the LGBT community has become labeled as fashion icons, best friend TMs, and my personal favorite, psychopaths. In the film Basic Instinct, Catherine, who is a bi bisexual woman, is portrayed as a murdering psychopath who kills everyone she has dated in the past. Years later, mass media takes the tale of Catherine and plays the tale on repeat until a murdering psychopathic ex-gay lover becomes a sort of standard for the LGBT community. The power of stereotyping, though, does not just stop there. It always seems to seep into real life. Case in point, to this day, some people continue to believe that if there is a mysteriously badly burned dead person, the case is most likely due to a jealous lesbian lover who wanted to erase her partner's existence. Admittedly, some of the story might be true, but even then, a single story should never represent an entire community. Through the 21st century, society has taken great strides in becoming more accepting. However, while society has grown to support people being themselves, media continues to condemn individuality by reusing the same actors and tropes over and over again. The two contrasting points between reality and social media really leads one to wonder, what exactly are we telling LGBT youth about the future that awaits them if they do come out? Thank you. Mm -hmm.